Today we're going to be looking at CTFs versus real experience. Yes, yeah, seriously, we're going to be looking at experience versus CTFs. I can't believe I'm doing this, but this is a real thing that is coming up a lot. So I have to cover it, I have to talk about it, let's get stuck in. Before we get started, if you would like to learn hands-on experience in cybersecurity, head to saferinternetproject.com and become a member today. Now, this whole thing came to me from a resume that was handed to me the other day to do a review and to go over and you know critique and rewrite as a brand new cybersecurity resume. The resume was actually, it was pretty good. It was nicely laid out and everything was sort of fine in that respect. However, on the experience piece, the work experience piece that this person had listed, there was only CTFs, only. CTFs. There was probably over 100 different CTFs that I had gone through on this resume that this person had completed, which was fantastic. It was great to see that this person had done CTFs. However, CTFs are not professional work experience. The thing with CTFs is that they are a learning experience. They're sort of a gamified experience on different techniques and emulated challenges, I guess, to find a goal at the end. And, and that's great. It's a great way to learn different types of tools and techniques. It's, it's awesome. Don't get me wrong, I love CTFs. But when it comes to your professional profile and applying for jobs, listing out CTFs as work experience is absolute crap. I've seen presentations from recruiters over on the Safer Internet Project where they have talked about exactly this topic and I'm going to reiterate exactly what they have said. And that is that CTFs are a great passion project. They're good to learn different tools and they're good to show that you're passionate about the industry. You love this industry, you wanna get in, you've been doing some CTFs on the side, but this is where the real experience is this is what you've been doing to earn that experience. Gaining experience is one of those really hard things to do in cybersecurity and unfortunately it is a requirement for most entry level jobs in the industry. That is because the industry of cybersecurity, and I'm gonna have knives thrown at me for this one, is not an entry level industry. It's something you usually get to after having worked in IT for a period of time. It's a fact, it's not an opinion. So therefore showing CTFs on a resume as experience while seems like a good idea at the time is not gonna get you very far. It's not professional work experience. You're not doing anything on a real business. You haven't actually done anything physically to protect an environment or to attack an environment. You've just learnt how you could do that in a very safe emulated environment. There are very good ways to earn experience in the industry. You could build your own home labs. You could build an attack defense lab. I've got a, a little series on how to start your own attack defense lab if you want to build your own little in-house lab on virtualized systems and networks and attacking and defending and what the results look like. And that's a really good way to show passion as well as experience. You could always work for someone else, gain work experience from actually doing the job. And while that is very hard to get into, it's not impossible. There are options out there where you can go to companies and say, hey, I would like to work you know, one day a week, two days a week, completely free for work experience. And sometimes they say yes, sometimes they say no. It's a numbers game at the end of the day, just like applying for jobs. But what I wanna get across here is that the better you try and the better you present yourself, the better the chance is that you're actually going to get into the industry. Just spitting straight facts in this video. <laughs> there is also, of course, the Safer Internet Project, which I mentioned at the start of this video, which performs real pen tests on real business systems that you can participate in as a member. That is real hands-on experience that you can show on your resume. So when it comes to looking at doing different CTFs, and please do keep doing CTFs. I'm not saying don't do CTFs, they're awesome. They're really fun ways to get into it and to get pumped and to learn different types of tools and techniques, like I've already said. But please don't show them on your resume. It's not going to help your profile. The recruiter who sees it first or the hiring manager at that organization is gonna see it and just go, wonderful, but what have you actually got to bring? What will you bring as an employee to this organization. Why should we promote you over someone who actually has hands-on experience? It's really important to understand the difference between the two 
and how they play their different parts in this industry. And I think for people who are just getting started in cybersecurity, learning CTFs is a great place to start. It's fantastic. But like I've said, it doesn't give you hands-on experience, but there are ways to earn that experience. What's your opinion on CTFs? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear as many opinions as possible from you guys. A lot of the people who watch these videos are already in the industry and more opinions over one opinion is a fantastic place to start. So throw your opinions in the comments below and let's get the conversation started. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all on the next video.